cycle is a research project that is conducted on a European scale that involves four countries where the fluctuation of uh, some small herbivores are having a large impact on whole ecosystems. So voles are small rodents that mostly feed on grass. They are very abundant and they are very fecund. They are extremely important in many ecosystems because they feed a large number of species of conservation concern. Most of your birds of prey, buzzards, owls, kestrels, many mammals, foxes, weasels, uh, rely on voles. Some highly endangered species also rely on voles uh, very much. So what happens to the vole populations will have impacts into the whole ecosystem. There is a fascinating and striking change that has taken place in a number of countries of, in, of Europe, where those vole populations or lemming populations also used to fluctuate in a very regular manner. There was a cycle. Every three to four years you would have very high abundance of those species. Recently that cycle fl fluctuation has been changing, has become less and less pronounced. What is fascinating is that it, the same change has taken place from Lapland in Norway to here in the UK to southwest France and another similar change in northern Spain. Within the EcoCycle project, I'm one of the demographers of the team. On one end of the spectrum, you've got tony holes that I'm monitoring, I'm studying just now, which are uh, generous predators, which are uh, highly sight uh, faithful. So once they decide to breed in one place, they stay there for life, and their life can be quite long, up to 15, 20 years. And basically they don't move, whatever the availability of voles in their territory. They are territorial species. Okay, on the other end of the spectrum, you've got species like Arctic fox, for instance, or Montagus harriers as well in farming landscape across Central Europe, which are basically tracking, seeking for the best place, the best, the, the hot spot in terms of vole density for breeding. And therefore, they can travel from one year to the other, from one breeding season to the other, to the next breeding season, several hundred of kilometers, sometimes more than 500 kilometers. And obviously, when you travel within Europe, uh, 500 kilometers, you always, you very often actually cross borders. So this is another reason why uh, our project EcoCycle has to rely on a European partnership. So. As researchers, we work on uh, the land of many types of landowners. Sometimes we work in national parks, or here we work in a managed commercial forest. In other places, we work in farmland. So we already have a degree of communication with, with people on whose land we work. In many cases, those people are very interested in understanding the ecosystem in which they, they work, in which they live, either personally or professionally. In many of the national parks where we work, it is the remit of those people to protect the species that we are studying. So there is a great appetite, a great interest for them to find out what uh, drives those populations and how they will change. We generally have an update with Xavier uh, about once a year where he <coughs> makes us aware of some of the other uh, uh, the other research work that's going on in the rest of Europe um, and that really that's very important because it, it shows us um, how the research project here is also um, important for other European countries as well. Um, we don't necessarily change a great deal um, with the information that we get but um, the information he provides us the research we're involved in uh, means we have a better understanding of the forest as an ecosystem. Um, but also that uh, high quality research like this is, is quite rare and uh, that we'd like to see it uh, continued well into the future. The process we are researching in a range of ecosystems, tundra, forest, farmland, are almost certainly the result of climate change, affecting first of all those voles that eat grass, but indirectly and profoundly, many species rely on voles, the predators of those species. 
So one general message of EcoCycle is that the impact of climate change can sometimes be very complex and indirect and difficult to predict and having excellent science is essential for that. I strongly believe that promoting science-based management or conservation of wildlife is absolutely critical in the uh, current context of uh, global changes.